The new ISA offers far greater savings and investment opportunities, but how should beginners approach them? First off, just because the annual limit has gone up to 15,000 doesn't necessarily mean you should plough all of that cash in straight away. A, you might not be able to afford it, and B, it might unbalance your portfolio hugely and expose you to greater risk. If you're a risk-averse saver, it's fairly straightforward how you'll approach the new ISA. You'll be looking for a savings account that pays the best rate. But for those investing for the long term, or those who are willing to take on some stock market risk, there's plenty more decisions you'll have to make. We've spoken to a handful of the leading independent financial advisors, and all of their advice is broadly the same. If you're a beginner investor, you'll probably start off with 100% of your portfolio in cash. As you become more experienced, that will switch to 75% in stocks and shares and 25% in cash. Experienced investors who know the market and know exactly what they're doing will even have 90% of their portfolio in stocks and shares and just 10% in cash. But you do need to be a fairly sophisticated investor before you take on that kind of weighting. If you are a beginner investor, you'll probably want to start off by drip feeding your cash into a monthly savings plan. This will slowly get you into the investing habit and will shelter your investments from the stock market ups and downs that will inevitably hit you at some point. Novice investors also tend to invest in a tiny number of core funds, perhaps even a multi-manager fund, which gives them access to lots of other funds through one single vehicle. Only when you become far more experienced should you even consider investing in smaller funds to add to your core portfolio. Whatever you decide to invest in, remember that investing is for the long term, so don't panic if you had a bad month or a bad year, or you read some bad news about the fund or the stocks you're invested in. That said, it's always wise to check your portfolio at least every six months. If in any doubt, of course, always speak to a financial advisor.